Hey there Libra, this is Renee, welcome back. Uh, Libra, this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Welcome to your reading, by the way. Um, but we're going to take a look at all about romance. So we're going to take a look at Libra's love life, what's going on, what you can expect. What is happening with Libra and love, okay? So let's jump into it. And if this resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your significant other's placements if you know them. Okay, so let's take a look for Libra. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so there may be someone that you're attracted to. There may be someone <laughs> that you are in a relationship with. Wow. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay, so maybe either you're already married to this person or you may have plans about marrying this person. Um, this may be a connection that turns into marriage. But let's go ahead and get some more energy for Libra. Get some more energy for Libra, please. What's going on for Libra and love? Wow, okay, too. We have Remember Who You Are, Archangel Michael. You are powerful, Libra. Loving and creative child of God. You are very loved, okay? So Spirit is letting you know that you're loved, you know, and uh, you are you know, I believe that you're loved by this person as well. You also have patience. Archangel Jaffiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Okay, so be patient with this connection. If this connection is flourishing, uh, this connection needs a little bit more time. You know, you're going to get to this place. So hang tight, Libra. But I feel like a little bit more patience is what's needed in this situation. You're, I'm, I'm feeling that your person really cares. They care very deeply for you. You know, and I feel like there's a very strong connection. I feel like there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Let's get some more energy, please, for Libra. Okay, yeah, look at this. We have blessed. The number 22. The number two may be very important to you. This could be a soulmate union, right? And we also have breathe, the number 29. Like I said, take some patience, take some time, do some thinking. You know, see where you really want this relationship to go. Give this relationship a chance. Okay, let's get some love oracles and see what's going on with libra get some more messages for libra please more messages for libra and love what's going on in libra's love life spirit give me a message what's going on between libra and their person okay we have the sword and the rose so i feel like you and this person are really thinking things through um, there may be some truth that's coming out. There may be some kind of revelation that you are just finding out about. Um, but I feel like, you know, you and this person um, are dealing with things. There may be some hurt situations. You may be kind of avoiding each other at times. They, you know, this person may be a little in and out and you're not really quite sure if they're committing to this relationship. Um, but I feel like they are. Okay. Um, we also have the palm tree. So definitely stability, security. This is something that's going to grow. It's going to flourish. And uh, that's the reason why I feel like this patience card is coming out. Because I, I feel like, you know, this relationship is going to take some time. It might not be where you want it right now, but I feel like it's growing into that committed relationship that you're looking for that committed relationship that you want right so let's take a look at the romantic tarot and get some messages for libra 
What messages do we have for Libra and Love Spirit? Give me a message. Give me a message for Libra, please. Okay. Some other cards. Okay, at the bottom we have a seven of thought. This is the seven of swords energy. Um, you've been confused about this situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. You know, so like I said, I feel like you and this person are really deep in thought. You're really thinking about your situation and how you really want it to go. Okay, we have the helper of action. So this is the Knight of Wands. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So get busy, follow your instincts and have fun. You and you or someone you meet will be very self-assured, capable and enthusiastic. You can do anything with a smile. Okay, so I feel like this person really enjoys your smile. I feel like you and this person may be very busy. You may be making plans and you may be um, called to take action in your situation, right? Um, we also have the Eight of Emotions, which is the Eight of Cups energy. So I feel like you and this person may have walked away from your situation at one point and now you're coming back together. Uh, maybe this person wasn't able to commit fully in the past, but I feel like they're ready. They're ready to finally make that commitment now. Okay, you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or uh, initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Okay? And we also have the Ten of Actions, which is the Ten of Wands energy. So like I said, I feel like you and this person have so much on your plate. There's so much that you need to do. So you may want to make your relationship a priority, okay? You're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take a better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health, right? I totally hear that. Okay. And we also have the Six of Thought, which is the Six of Swords energy. So peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed and now you can see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. So you may be traveling, but you are moving to a calmer feeling, a calmer space, right? So <clears throat> this is Six of Swords energy. So definitely moving into more peace or more peace of mind, right? And we also have the Ten of Emotion. This is the Ten of Cups. So, you know, you have your burdens. You have you know, moving into your calmer waters and then you have pure happiness, right? With the Ten of Cups energy. So life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on your horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured be by offering forgiveness and understanding and kindness to others. You're rewarded with unconditional love. So that's beautiful, Libra. You know, I, I mean, I can see with these cards that, you know, you, you're going from being so busy to letting go these, 
these emotions to, you know, letting go of your burdens and moving into this calmer space and finding that peace of mind, that happiness. So I really feel like things are definitely going to start working out. Things are definitely going to start looking up, especially for you and this person. Okay, so I feel like love is actually blooming. It's blossoming right now. Okay, so let's get some messages from your person. What would your person like to say uh, if they had a chance? What would your person like to say? Give me a message, Spirit. What messages do we have for Libra? What messages do we have for Libra, please? Okay, look at this. Yeah, it's time for me to heal now. You know, I feel like you and this person are going through a healing. You're going through... Maybe you had to take time out kind of separately to kind of go through those motions to to heal and prepare for, you know, being committed in a committed relationship. I knew exactly what I was doing, right? And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So you're definitely on this person's mind. They're thinking about you. You know, if this is someone who's coming back, I feel like, you know, they're trying to get themselves together. But, you know, maybe in the past they were hiding behind material things, you know, making their situation look much better than it really was. Right. So I feel like they're getting together. Look, just being near you is intoxicating. So there's that attraction, that chemistry that we were talking about. Right? So I feel like this person really has a lot to say. I feel like you and this person really have a lot of communication. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things that are left unsaid that they may be kind of hiding their feelings at some times. Um, but I feel like those emotions want to come out because there's this, this attraction, this sexual chemistry that I'm feeling that is just, you know, it's very invigorating, exciting. Okay, so definitely, Libra, let's get some more messages. Look at this. I can't let go of you. <coughs> this person is stuck on you, Libra. This love is crazy, right? I feel like there's a lot of emotions here. I feel like sometimes this person can't really control how they feel about you because it's so strong. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. Wow. You deserve better. So they actually want so much more for you. They want... <laughs> I can't handle your love. Right. Yeah, this person is very intoxicated by you. Look at this. The heat between us is so intense, right? Definitely. That's that chemistry. That's that chemistry I was feeling. You know, I feel like this person is just, they're like, wow. You know, they, they just can't get enough. Let's get some, <clears throat> let's get some handmade cards for... Libra, see what else comes out. What other messages need to come out for Libra? What other messages need to come out, please? For Libra in love, what's going on in Libra's love life with this person? Okay. So, we do have pay attention to red flags. I feel like some red flags kind of come out from time to time. I feel like, like I said, I feel like this person is working on things. They may have really discouraged you in the past, right? If this is a past person coming back, but they don't want you to give up on them, you know? And they, they feel like they're done with their ways. They're, they're, they want to change, okay? You need more information before going forward. Matter of fact, yeah, make sure that this person is going through that healing that they need so that they can come back to you 
in in the right way you know don't put up with no bs right we have healing to create the perfect time to reunite definitely and we also have your abundance is on the way so i feel like there's some abundance coming in here as well we have be open-minded you know so don't make quick judgment on this person and it is time to act now okay at the bottom we have wow this is toxic and not for you so for some of you i feel like this may be a toxic relationship trying to come back through um but for others of you i'm feeling like this person has been doing a lot of soul searching they've been really looking into this you know really looking into getting back with you uh, they've been really doing that soul searching and trying really hard let's get some tarot and let's see where this connection is going to go give me a message for libra and this person where is this message going to go spirit give me an an outcome for this message the strength card yeah i feel like you've had to have strength but this person finds a lot of value in you you know they may be coming back with a very solid offer very committed very you know ready to take that plunge because look at this we have a new beginning this is this is commitment someone wanting to offer you a committed relationship you know a solid offer this is someone who's coming very honest and true um, when we have success so definitely I feel like you know this person is coming towards you and they, they really want a successful relationship they're ready to make you their primary priority you know they're ready to lay down all, everything else they're ready to lay down all of their other burdens and put you first okay I feel like this person has done a lot of soul searching and now they're ready to really start over and you know communicate with you bring you some kind of truth you know bring you honesty this person is transforming they're changing they're working on things and they really want to reunite and work with you and collaborate you know take your relationship to a higher level they've been working on this on themselves for a while and i feel like yeah now they're ready they feel like they're in control they're in control of the situation they're ready to stand up for what they believe in and i feel like they they believe in you they're ready to defend themselves they're ready to you know make that solid offer and finally commit and i feel like it's been a while i feel like you've been waiting libra okay let's get a timeline for libra let's get a timeline okay you will have conflictual thoughts it will happen unless excuse me it will not happen unless you feel completely certain okay so i feel like you may be the one that needs to you know make this final commitment to this person or otherwise this connection is not going to happen so you you may be having some conflicts you know um at the bottom we have six months so i, I feel like you know once you get past this these conflicted thoughts um, Libra, I feel like it'll start moving. It'll start, you know, escalating and, you know, you'll, you'll start moving forward with this person. But I feel, I really do feel like this person, um, is really trying to take control of their life. They really want to come forward to you strong and committed. And, uh, what they're bringing you is a solid offer. Um, they're trying to bring you this truth um and they they want to make you a priority you know they're working on this they want to work together okay so let's go ahead and get an angel number what does libra need to know give me an angel number for libra please 
Okay, yeah, look at this. 888, abundance. Blessings are here and more are on the way. Let yourself feel a, the abundant flow of prosperity that is all around you. As you stand in your highest self, you attract all that you once were seeking. Giving is always the doorway to success. Okay, your affirmation, Libra. The more good I do in the world, the more abundant my life grows. I radiate the energy of loving kindness. Okay, so that is your reading, Libra. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, Libra, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Also, like I said, um, you can also take a look at your person's. Uh, placements if you'd like that'll give you more messages more clarity and until your next reading many blessings to you libra love and light